Hi Explorers and welcome back to Clayton's Exploration Station. Today we're going to be looking at polymers in our great alginate worm experiment. For this experiment, we are going to be using sodium alginate, which is a polymer that can be extracted from brown seaweeds and kelps. When sodium alginate is introduced to calcium chloride solution, the calcium ions replace the sodium ions in the alginate polymer. Each of the calcium ions can attach to two of the polymer strands. This is called cross-linking. Now that we know a bit of the science behind our experiment, let's see it in action. Materials we'll be using in today's experiment are distilled water, food grade calcium chloride and food grade sodium alginate, containers with lids, a big bowl, Kool-Aid for coloring and taste, as well as some measuring spoons. First, we're going to prepare our calcium chloride solution. We're going to be using this big bowl, but if you're following the recipe, you'll be using one cup of warm distilled water. If you use regular water for this experiment instead of distilled water, it can cause the sodium ions to be swapped out with something other than the calcium ions, which means that the cross-linking won't take place. We've got ours already warmed up, so I'm gonna go grab that now. I'm making a nice big bowl of the calcium chloride solution, so we have a lot of room to observe our alginate worms. Now, for every cup of water, you'll add one tablespoon of calcium chloride. The solution needs to be mixed really well until all of the calcium chloride is dissolved. We're going to put ours aside while we get our alginate solution ready. To make our alginate worm solution, we're going to be using two different containers for two different colors. You can use food coloring, which is great for observation, but as you know, we love to mix science with tasty treats, so we're going to use Kool-Aid mix so we can both flavor and color our worms. Each container is going to get a half cup of warm water. Then we're going to add a half teaspoon of our dry sodium alginate mixture. Our mixture was clumping, which this does have a tendency to do because as soon as the alginate hits the water, it absorbs the water and starts turning into a gel. So we got our handy dandy blender and we're just gonna mix it all together before we put it into our squeeze bottles. Express yourself. And now we get to make it unique by adding in one tablespoon of Kool-Aid mix. We've added a tablespoon of cherry to this one and now we need a tablespoon of grape for this one. We'll mix this up well so the color gets all the way through. With everything mixed up and our lids back on our bottles, our alginate worm solution is ready to meet our calcium chloride solution. But first, let's reset our space so we can have fun observing our worms. I'm using red first. Our worms are an example of a polymer, a large molecule made of repeating units. The sodium alginate in the squirt bottle is made of short polymer molecules that can easily slide around each other inside the water. The calcium ions in the bowl cross-link these short polymers together into longer strands, turning the stream of liquid from the bottle into a thick gel. So we take our squeeze bottle and we just squeeze it into the solution. Try to do one stream if you can. And then, oh, we get these big, thick, stringy polymer worms. Oh, neat. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. Look at that worm. <laughs> So this does use a little bit different chemistry than most of our other slimes, but it is a really cool slime. The cool thing is when the polymers form, they form on the outside and leave a liquid bead on the inside of the worm. Now, because these are made with Kool-Aid and food grade products, they can be eaten. We just want to make sure we rinse them first because the calcium chloride is very salty. And while salt can be delicious sometimes, we want our worms to be nice and sweet. Mmm. That's pretty good, actually. I'm gonna try one more. Oh, look at that one. 
Woo. Okay. Well, this is a little bit messy and gross, but very fun and a little bit tasty. I'm gonna try one other thing, which is making a jelly ball. So I'm going to put a bunch of my alginate worm solution into a spoon, then gently lower it into my calcium chloride mixture. We have one big jelly bead. Again, just like the worm should be gel on the outside but liquid on the inside so let's see if we can pop it oh yep when you're done playing with your calcium chloride solution make sure you wash your hands it can irritate your skin after prolonged exposure when you're disposing of it you can put it down the sink but make sure you run your taps and flush your pipes that way it doesn't settle and cause a plumbing disaster for more fun in the lab Make sure you subscribe to Clayton's Exploration Station on YouTube and social media. And if you have any fun experiments for us to try, email us at info at explorationstation.net. Join us next week when we use polymers to make bioplastics out of milk proteins. Stay curious out there, explorers. Clayton's Exploration Station.